Right, this is the north end here. This is the north part of the property. There's a little outlet here. Two big units, all but two small units. This is the back. Each have doors here. Some of the doors need to be replaced. I'm gonna walk and look at all the doors here. Doors, some of them need to be replaced. I don't know about that one. Steps added in. Needs replaced. Maybe gravel this back here. That looks okay. Mm -hmm. All of them need roofs. New roofs. Yeah, it needs replaced. I think. Mm -hmm. This is this is really the only bad uh, structural side, don't you think? There's one other place down here where you could use a little bit of uh, we, you know, work on the outside, but these used to be RV units, but we're thinking, I'm thinking maybe storage bays all along here, and then maybe turning this into a little laundry servicing area. It's insulated inside, it has plumbing, it has lighting, Electric, yeah. it has electrical. Yeah, it's electrical. Put a floor in, drywall it, have some space for some laundry. Then I thought maybe sometime put a little community thing out here where people could gather. Joe says these all need to be replaced because they're not up to code, I guess. They're too old. Too old. So that would add to the cost. Lighting fixtures are needed out front on all of them. I was, am I getting over, overboard by saying we need to replace these? What do you think? You think in stand up showers to save some space, huh? Well, I, I could uh, probably save you some money. Um, something to look into. Because if we put stand up showers in each one, then it's really easy to put the water meter right next to it. Well, Joe sure didn't seem excited about it, but he did say no. Yeah. So, for the video's purposes, we're planning on potentially gutting the entire thing and putting, leaving a hole in the middle of the floor for the plumbers. And electricians to be able to crawl through each unit. That's one unit referred to as unit eight. We kick this completely out. This would be gone because there's no real bedroom. So in this one, this could potentially be a bedroom. No, I think you put a little oh, kitchen here right. and turn that into the bedroom. The kitchen yeah. into the bedroom. There's a beam underneath here that would need to be jacked up and reset or replaced. Right, Dennis? Yep. Kitchen. Oh, you're thinking this bedroom would be the bedroom? Yeah, turn this kitchen into a little bedroom here. Yeah. They're not pretty, but they would be, I think, if we got it. Those are the small units and then two large units. These two over here and this one and the one over there have a little cubby where we can put the water heater. Kitchen. Bathroom. Dennis can do anything. I can plan it for like 15,000. <laughs> this is the far left one. This is the exact same as the other one, right? These are only two that are the same. Yeah. God, this one's actually maybe the best condition, huh? Yeah. That, uh, eight and this one. We're gonna do eight first, and then do this, this one. The crawl space or attic space. Actually, a decent room in the bathroom in, in these ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess everything's relative, huh? Yeah. All right. 
So again, another. Yep. You're the man, Dennis. And then we're gonna go take a peek at these ones. These ones are rented for 450 each. Those ones are rented for 350 each. Signing out.